And we're back with the final part of Truck Week, which is also Bargain of the Week, which is the Vapid Contender. Now, this is a deleted car. It's being added back into Simeon's this week, mainly because it's all over the new Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. So, should you pick it up? Well, to start with, this thing is the absolute bargain price of 250 grand, which in GTA Online is basically free. That's one nightclub safe full. So is it worth even that? Well, on customization alone, arguably not. The customization for this thing isn't great. Although, to be fair, the customization for most of these trucks isn't great. So you've got a choice between spending 250 grand on a truck with bad customization or 1.8 million. So I know what I'd do. Anyway, there's just enough to make this look somewhat like one of the trucks they use in that escape scene in Too Fast Too Furious, so I've gone for that. So let's get this thing off road and have a look and as you can see straight up the side of this mountain it's really really capable off road it just powers up here i've left this one quite high as well so i can just vault this barrier like that which is awesome so off road arguably this thing is much better than the brand new and very expensive yosemite 1500 i seem to do nothing but slack that car off but my problem with that car is the cost versus performance so for, for this on the road i've got to admit it's not brilliant it's really really tail happy as you can see the back end swings out constantly but having only paid 250 grand for it i don't mind that it's actually kind of fun you compare this to the yosemite that thing's just bland in how it drives compared to this yeah arguably the yosemite is slightly better on the road but it's absolutely not 1.6 million dollars better so let's get round here and get to the final bit which is always quite challenging which is the little bit through the uh, through the town on the last part of the school run let's just hop down here And look at this time, this is actually looking like a fairly steady lap. It looks as if it's going to be a very similar time to the Yosemite. And let's be honest, looking at that, it's not even a particularly clean lap. So I think this bit is going to be quite difficult in this car because it is big. This is the size the Yosemite should be. For some reason they chose to make that one tiny. Oh, hey, that's impressive. The big scores. So is this crowd! Here we go. There's the 10. So, last bit down here. Final thoughts. Review. Is this worth it? Do you know what? For 250 grand, it absolutely is. It's basically free. It's a couple of missions. There's hardly anything you need to do to pick this thing up. And the performance easily justifies the tiny price tag. So here's the time it managed to do. And here's where it sits on the lap board. As you can see, it actually came in slightly ahead of the Yosemite. So for 250 grand, I would say this is one you must pick up. It's a really cool truck. It's a shame there isn't more customization, but you know what, for 250 grand, it's not the end of the world. I would say this is one to pick up. If you're after a truck, definitely go for this before you go for the Yosemite. So I hope that's useful. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.